Salvate, ladies. Today we are going to do our your next lesson in Latin for Americans. This would be uh, lesson 18, and it's on how to ask questions in Latin. This isn't going to be a very long um, video because it's fairly simple to ask questions in Latin. Um, there are sec technically, I suppose, four different ways to ask questions. Um, maybe even technically a couple more, um, but we're only going to learn three ways today. The first way is to use a, a, question, a question word, for example, um, an interrogative pronoun like quiz or quid, or an interrogative adverb like ubi, okay? Quiz means who, quid means what, and ubi means where. Um, I have some examples for, of these sentences. We're actually going to translate them on the next slide. Um, but the first one, quis populum in agram will cop it. The second one, quid in silva with disti. And the third one, ubi undas magnas with ace. Okay? Now, the second way you can ask a question in Latin is to make a statement into a question. You do this by adding the enclitic syllable. Um, enclitic syllable just means that it's added on to the end of a word. You add this enclitic syllable onto the first word of the sentence. So I give you an example of a statement and then how we turn that into a question. And the first example is the statement, Marcus tuus amicus est. Um, and then we turn it into question by putting that enclitic syllable onto the end of the first word, Marcus. So Marcus ne, to us amicus est. Um, it's interesting to remind you guys that the Romans did not have punctuation, or at least not consistently and certainly not early on. Um, so the reason why we have the enclitic syllable ne is to signal um, to people that we're having a question when the Romans did not use question marks, okay? Some questions, um, you can ask in a way that expects a yes answer. We actually do that in English too, right? We can lead um, the person we're asking the question to to think that they should answer this yes. Um, in Latin, you do that by starting the sentence with the word no ne. Um, in English, we do it by adding some things onto the end of the sentence like, right? So um, we form questions that expect a yes answer by adding um, right, right? Something like that. We could say, you know, isn't he, isn't she? Um, you are going to school today, aren't you? Uh, they will be coming to my party, won't they? Things like that. Things that lead the, 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 the hearer or the reader of the um, question to think that the correct answer here should be yes. I give you two examples of these, non ne patrium vestram amatus, and then also non ne vire gloriam uh, patriae nostrae auge bunt. Okay, so let's look at how we translate these questions. Uh, in the first example, the use of the question words, quis populum in agram will cabit, translates as who, quis, will cabit, will call the populum, the people, in agram, into the field. Okay? The second one, quid, what, uh, what would disti, what did you see in the forest? Ooh, maybe a Bigfoot. And then the last one, uh, ubi undas magnas um, wide. So where do you see big waves? Ubi, where? Um, making a statement into a question, Marcus to us amicus s. Marcus is your friend. Very nice, by the way predicate nominative, since we talked so much about that recently. Um, but then we can change that, Marcus is your friend, into a question, Marcus ne. Now in English, we simply, sep we, we simply move the verb to show that we're asking a question and then end it with a um, question mark. But in Latin, we put that ne on the end, and suddenly this becomes, is Marcus your friend? Um, for words, for sentences that expect or questions that expect a yes answer, we just have to find a way to incorporate in that sense that the answer is yes, okay? So, non e patriam vestram amatis, you love your country, right? So, leading you to believe that the answer is yes, of course. Um, and then the last one, non e weary gloriam patriae, uh, nostri auge bunt. The men will increase the glory of our country, won't they? expecting that yes answer. All right, well, thank you very much for your attention, and I will see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night. Walete.